Welcome to Sweethearts or Rivals. I'm Sharla. I'm Justin. What's on our table today? Colt Express. Colt Express is a game that plays two to six players. They recommend ages 10 and up. Could take you about 40 minutes. Well. And it's published by Ludenai Games. Yep. It was the 2015 Spiel des Jahres winner. Dun dun dun. So we're going to swap the cameras around, set up the game, uh, tell you how to play, and we're going to be playing the official two player base game variant. Right. We'll be right back. We're back, and we're set up, and we may even have, if this camera works, we may have like, kind of like a down on the table view for you, somewhere, right. I'm get my finger here, or somewhere up there or something. Right. Anyway. If it works. If it works. All right, so this is Cold Express. Um, some of it's set up, some of it is not. So we're going to do the rest of the setup right now. So the first thing we have to do is, in a two-player game, uh, we need... Uh, a team of two characters each. Right. And we determined we're going to be doing it randomly. Yeah. So I'm just going to take this draw bag right on. and put all these meeples in here. Excellent. And then we can each draw two. Okay. That sounds good. You draw first. I'm drawing. Am I drawing both or just one? Oh, let's draft. Draft? Yeah. So I'm just drawing one. Right. Okay. <laughs> Ho -ho. I got the red one. I am Django, you are Tuco. Tuco! What else am I going to be? I am going to be Belle. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> and I'm going to be Ghost. Nice. So for this game, we're not going to be playing with Doc or Cheyenne. Right on. So let's get our character cards here. Alright, and these character cards... Um, there's two sides to them. There's the side that doesn't have a place for the discard, and there's a place with the discard. We use the side with the discard because when you play the two-player variant, you have to play the expert variant of the game as well. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Which actually means that uh, this card and this card we don't need. Which card and which card? Just the two character cards is all. This one and this one. Yep. Okay. Uh, then you got to find your bullets and make sure they're in order. Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to take our two decks, uh, each deck of action cards from each of our characters, and we have to pare it down to a single deck, which is very strange and different. All right, so to make our deck, what we do is we look at the different cards. So, like, for example, the punch card, there's only one of each, so we mm -hmm. keep both of them. Okay. Um, but when it comes to cards that there are two in each deck, we take one from each deck and the rest are out. The last thing is the sheriff cards. You choose one or the other, doesn't matter which one, and you put it in your deck and the other one's out. So then all the cards that are out, they're just out. And then the rest of the cards go into a single deck. Then you just put them on your uh, character sheet, doesn't matter which one. One can be your draw pile, the other one can be your discard pile. Uh, the next thing is uh, there's 250 bucks in a coin purse for each of your characters in your team. Thank you. We're going to have to populate this with the loot here in a second. But the next thing we do is we have the round cards. So we have one stop card. Done. And then we have four rounds. So we're going to need four of the round cards. One, two, three, four. And the rest of those are out. 
All right, now in this carriage, it needs one of the coin purses, so I gotta mix them up real quick. This one is a uh, three coin purses and one of the gems for the loot. This one I cannot see because, of course, it's on the up. Oh no, I can three see gems. It. three gems. And the last one's three coin purses. Nice. Three coin purses. And the rest of these are out. And then we hold on to the uh, last briefcase just in case because there's an event that can cause that to go in. There, we are set up. So, Colt Express, you are trying to be the meanest, baddest um, stealer of loot Gun and slinger. shooter of guns. Yeah, and slinging of guns and that kind of stuff. And this is the board which is a 3D cardboard board, which is very interesting and fun to play. All right, the last thing we need to do for setup is we need to get our pawns onto the train. So what we do is we actually have to take all four of them. Okay. And then if you want to, do you want to put you them want in the back? Draw bag back? Sure, that'd okay. be perfect. And we just randomly draw one and they're going to be the first player. Oh, me. <laughs> Where does red go? You are the first player. So what that means is you can put red in here or here. Well, Gemville, of course. Gemville, of course. And then I get to put someone in there as well. And that means these two are going to start in the caboose. Just like so. Thanks. No problem. So how Cold Express works is there's going to be a round card here that we're going to flip up. And that's going to tell us how many... Um, how many cards we're going to be playing, whether they're going to be played face up or face down, and any other special things that happen during the round. And then what we're going to do is, for each of those cards that we played during the round, we're going to have a hand of six cards, and we're going to play them. And it's uh, normally when you have like four tokens, each person is going to have a card played, but this is the two player variant, so we're playing from a common deck. So I'll play a card, you'll play a card, I'll play a card but none of them actually do anything yet. You wait until you, all the cards have been played, flip the stack over, and then you play the round. So things that you had planned on doing might not work out that way, and sometimes there's a whole lot of chaos. Mm -hmm. uh, the cards that you can play do the following things. Uh, there's the money card, which basically allows you to loot. If you're in a car and there's some loot available, you can grab something. Uh, there's another card that allows you to uh, move from side to side. If you're down in here, uh, what that does is it allows you to move one car to the left or right. And you can't leave the, the train. So if you're all the way in the back, you don't jump off the back or anything. That's just silly. However, if you are on the roof of the train, instead of just going one space, you can actually travel up to three cars. So that's kind of nice. In either direction. In either direction, yeah. Well, you would think wind resistance would make it harder to go forward. Not so much. Okay. But there are some events that if at the end of the round you're on the roof, you go all the way to the back. Mm. Or if it breaks, you actually go forward one. Mm. <laughs> but nothing about wind yet. Okay. Future expansion. Maybe. Uh, there's a card that allows you to travel from inside the car to the roof or vice versa. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a card that lets you shoot your gun. Now, if you are inside the cars, you can only shoot one car away. And you can't shoot someone who's in the same car as you. However, if you're on the roof, you can shoot as, as, as far as you want. But if you're in this car, and there's somebody in this car, and then there's someone in that car on the roof, you can't shoot them because this guy's in the way. Makes sense. So there's kind of like a line of sight for the mm -hmm. roof. And finally, there's the sheriff card. Um, or the marshal, sorry. The marshal card. And when you play the marshal card, you can move the marshal uh, one car to the left or right. He never goes on the roof, he just moves around. Uh, he starts up here in the front with a briefcase with a thousand bucks in it. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, if you are ever inside the car with the marshal, he shoots you, so you take a bullet, and then you, you automatically escape to the roof, so he kicks you out to the roof. Mm -hmm. uh, the crazy thing with the cars is, 
you might play a card thinking everything's going to be good, things will change, and when the card actually activates, it'll cause you to do something like go from the roof down into the car where the marshal is. And once the card's like played, you can't not activate it. Mm -hmm. So crazy hijinks ensue. Right. Cool. So uh, the only thing we have to do right now is we have to flip over the first round card, which is this one right here. Uh, this round is going to be a four card round. Uh, they're going to be face up, face up. Then we go through a tunnel, so the third card will be played face down. And then the last card is actually in reverse order. So you're going to play a card, then I'm going to play a card, and then I'm going to play the last card, and you're going to play the last card. Right. Yeah. Uh, at the very end of this round, anyone who is on the roof above the marshal gets shot. Gets shot. And I believe yes. the marshal mo the marshal moves back one first, and then shoots anyone who's on the roof. Okay. Dun dun dun. And our characters have special abilities too. This what is are true. Yours? Uh, I'm playing with Django, and Django's guns are so powerful that when he shoots you, um, you actually get pushed one car, which normally only happens with the punch card, which. I don't think I actually talked about it. it. wasn't in the stack by accident. Whoops. Yeah, the punch card, you punch someone who's in the same car as you, uh, they drop a loot of their choice, and then they get pushed one car away. Mm -hmm. So Django's guns actually do the same thing. They don't cause you to lose loot, but they push you. Uh, Belle is so pretty that if you target like a punch or a gun, and there's any target other than her, it has to be targeting someone other than her. Right. Which is kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Nice. She's so pretty. Yep. Who do you got? I have Ghost. Ooh. So Ghost lets you play your first card face down. Yeah, we don't know what Ghost is doing. He's tricky. Yeah. And then Tuco, he can shoot up or down. Yeah. Through the roof of yep. the of the trolley. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Right on. Excellent. Uh, the last thing for the two player variant that's really important is uh, there is a discard pile. So um, after we play all our cards, any cards that are left over, um, they don't get shuffled back into the deck. Uh, you can keep any cards in your hand that you want to keep, or you can discard them. And then you just draw cards to fill your hand back up again. If you get shot, the bullets go right on top of your draw deck. So you are automatically going to be drawing those bullets into your hand, which are useless for the next round. Awesome. Yeah, trickiness. So I think we're ready to go. So how many cards do we get to start with? Uh, we get six. There. So we're just going to look at our hand, see what we have. Yep. And then we're going to see if we can get this camera started. Nice. And we'll be right back. Right on. All right. So we ready? Yes. It looks like it might record. So hopefully we'll have another little camera there up in the top left. Awesome. And what we're going to do is play our cards right here. And that way you just... They won't be in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. We'll try not to reach in front of the camera as much as we can. Um, so, first we were playing your start because you're first player. Right. Face up card, unless you play a ghost card, in which case it's going to be face down. I think I'll play a face down card. There we go. Okay. Looting. Looting. <laughs> and then I think I will. Play a face-up card. Ooh, somebody's shooting me. Okay. Now face-down card. And a face-up, face but in reverse order. Yeah, that would be me. So, let's do that. And I think I'll do this. Nice. Okay. So these stay in our hand. Part of our hand. This deck is going to flip. So the first thing Ghost does is he shoots someone, which is going to be Tuco. <laughs> oh, I was thinking he was going to shoot him. I forgot it was. Oh, that was silly. Whoops. So you take Whoops. Ghost's bullet. Yeah, yeah. And you put it right on Tuco's draw pile. <laughs> Oops! Whoops. Alright, um, then uh, Django here is going to loot. loot. Which one do you want? Uh, the one that's right next to him there. This one? Yeah, that's a good one. 
I like that one. Four hundred dollars! Huzzah! Are we supposed to know what the cards are? Yeah. Uh, then we have Tuco, who's going to shoot, and he can shoot Django. He will shoot Django. Okay, so whoops, take a bullet card and put it on Jang on my draw pile there. Then we have Bell, who's going to punch Tuco, so Tuco loses his money. Tuco loses his money in the air. And then Tuco gets punched right out, and he goes right there. <laughs> then we have Tuco climbing up to the roof. Oops. And then Bell, who's going to run this way, one. And then, oh, yeah, Django's going to go up to the roof. And then finally, Tuco is going to be running up to three places. Although, remember, you don't um, want him to be there. Right. But I'll just put him right here. Oh, no, he died. <laughs> There's your discard pile. All right, so at the end of this round, according to the card, uh, the next thing that happens is the marshal is going to go back one. And then if there was anyone up here, he would shoot them. Boom, but boom. there's nobody there. But there's no one. So that card is out. That is the end of that round. Now I become first player. So Wait. take the cards that we left over from our previous hand, unless you wanted uh, to get rid of them. Let's check to see if I want to discard any. I don't think so. No, I'm good. And then you draw up to six. Oh, well, look at that. I got a bullet in my hand. Me too. <laughs> From my own character. Now in the regular game when you're playing three, four, five, or six players, um, at the end of the game anyone who has uh, shot all of their bullets is going to get a thousand dollar bonus for being the sharpshooter. Mm -hmm. And if nobody does then whoever shot off the most, but in a two player game that doesn't happen. No, so, it can't possibly because no. you only have two guns. Yeah. Or one for each. Yeah. Yeah. So the only thing you do is uh, shooting the bullets helps because it fills the opposing team with useless cards. Mm -hmm. right yeah. So this is going to be an interesting round. Um, we're going to play five cards each. Uh, the first round is face up, then we go through a tunnel so it's going to be face down, and then we have a double card play. And then finally one last card, and then at the very end the marshal is going to drop off a second briefcase of a thousand dollars wherever he is. Why would he do that? Is he forgetful or drunk or something? He might be. Weird. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm first player, which means I'm going to go first. What am I going to do? Where am I anyway? Let's shoot some guns. I'm going to do one upside down. down. Ooh, ghost comes into play. Okay. Now we're going to play him face down. Now we're going to play double, 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 double. Whoops, no, nope, they're supposed to be face up, sorry. Bell's going to jump up to the top, and then the marshal's going to move. Oh, I see. He is indeed. Now how many can you move the marshal again? Just one. Just one. Yep. Ooh, Ghost is going to punch someone, and so is Tuco. That's interesting. And the last card. Hmm. Well, hmm. instead of playing a card, I'm just going to draw three. I'll play one. Okay. I actually ran out of cards, so I got to shuffle these. Give myself one more. There we go. All right, so first thing that happens is uh, Django shoots Tuco. Me. So Tuco takes a bullet, right on your draw pile, and he gets pushed back one. Then Ghost loots. Yeah, he does. 
And we do keep these secret. Yes, we do. Uh, then uh, Django is going to run. One, two, three. All the way over there. Ghost is going to climb up to the roof. Then Belle is going to climb up to the roof. Hello. Hi. Then the Marshal is going to move over here. Thanks. Then Ghost punches the air. <laughs> Nobody. Uh, Tuco punches Belle. Oh no! Oh no! That's horrible. That's horrifying. So Belle loses her money there, and you can punch her there or there. I'm gonna punch her. There, please. So sad. Uh, and then uh, Tuco is going to make the sheriff move. Mm -hmm. Or Marshall. Let's move the Marshall right there. Back here? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So then the Marshall is going to drop off another box of money. Then we look at our cards in our hand. And are there any cards we want to yes, get rid of? Yes, there are. I have three, Oops, so I get to yours. shuffle. Any more? Nope, that's it. <clears throat> Draw back up to six. This round is done. And then you're going to be first player for this round. One, two, three. Nice. So this round is going to have four cards. Uh, face up. Then we go through a tunnel, so it's going to be face down, and then two face up. And at the very end of the round, anyone who is on the roof of the car goes all the way back to the caboose. Oh, my goodness. Yep. And you are first player. I'm going to do that. Looting my money. I That's shouldn't have put my hand cool. in front of the camera. That's okay. Bill's going to shoot someone. Really? <laughs> Let's see. And we're in a tunnel. Mm hmm Yep, we are. Okay. Ghost is going to climb down. Last card. Let's resolve. So first, you're looting. That's mine now, baby. Thanks. There you go. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> then Bell shoots someone. Who's she gonna shooting? shoot? Doesn't really matter because I can shoot you both. It goes on oh, your draw pile. That's not nice. Ghost is going to move. Over there with Bell. Right here? Yep. Okay. Then Bell moves. One, two, three. And then Ghost is going to go back down here. Yes, he does. And then Django punches the air. You have Django. Oops, I do have Django. I don't know why I gave that to you. That was silly. Uh, and then Tuco moves the marshal. Oh yeah, Tuco does. So here or here? There. Marshal goes right back over here. Mm -hmm. And then Django goes back down here. Tricky. And then. Wow, I should have left the marshal there. Bell and Tuco go all the way to the back of the caboose. And I forgot about that. Dun dun dun! I, like I never played it before. <laughs> Okay. All right, so any cards left in your hand you want to get rid of, you can. Yes. And draw back up. One, two, three. All right, I'm going to be first player, and this time we're going to have... Interesting. Uh, face up, face down, face up, face down, face up. For a total of five cards. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm first player. I am also ready. What Try am I to going to do? Cards. Interesting. Hard. Bell's going to punch someone. <laughs> Ghost is going to do something. Yep, he is. Bell's going to punch someone. Yep, Bell punching someone. Hmm. I wonder who that could be. 
I do not know. Oh, wait, this is going to be face down, isn't it? Yes. Now it's face up? Yes. face down. This is a little nerve wracking, but I'll do that. And then finally face up. And just because I don't want to draw cards. <laughs> All right. I think I made a major mistake here. I'm hoping he did. We'll see. So the first thing Belle does is punch him. Whee! Oh, no. <laughs> He died again. <laughs> and you drop your loot. I drop my loot. Yep. When you get punched, you drop your loot. Oh, well, it's not that exciting. Okay. All right. Ah, oh, good. Okay. So then Ghost is going to loot. Do you want a gem? Of course. Okay. Who doesn't want a gem? There are some of the some of the bags of money that are worth more than the gems. Some of them. It, some of them. Not much. Then Belle is going to loot back her money. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm right on camera there. Yep. I know you can't help it. Oops. Uh, then J Tuco is going to go down here. Yep. And then I'm going to loot myself a briefcase of a thousand bucks. Really rude. And then you're going to move this way or that way? I'm going to go that way. Okay. There you go. And then he punches nobody. He punches nobody. <laughs> Bell moves down into the caboose. Yikes, and I shoot someone myself again. You shoot yourself. <laughs> Just because I didn't want to draw cards. Oh, that's funny. All right. See, the first card you played that was face down, I thought you played the marshal. Oh. And I didn't loot with him right away. Oh. And I thought I was... That was that's the mistake you thought you made? Yeah, I thought I was... Oh, child. me? I thought my mistake was shooting my own self. That's worse. That was a pretty bad mistake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to discard that one. Here's your discards. Thanks. So uh, let me get six. One. one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. One, two, three, four, five. What, is this the last one? This is. All right, so for this one, it's going to be four cards, uh, two face up, then we go through a tunnel, so one's face down, then the last one's face up. And then I don't recognize that symbol. Hopefully it's not from the expansion. All right, so the round card that we had for the final round was actually one from an expansion that by accident was still in there, so we just took it out. Now we're just going to choose this one. And this one is from the base game. Ha ha. So let's use that one. So it's still four rounds. Still face up, face up. Then through a tunnel so it's face down. And then the final card will be face up. And then at the very end of the game is Marshall's Revenge. Oh no. Good. Anyone who's on the roof of the train and the Marshall is right below them is going to lose one of their money bags. That's horrible. It is the least valuable money bag. Okay. And if you don't have any money bags at all, you, you don't gain a money. You don't bag. lose anything. Wow, well, how can you gain lose something you bag. don't have? That's right. But you don't have to give up jewels or anything like that. Okay. Okay. So, my cards. And you believe. became first player, I think, right? This fifth round. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, really? Yep, it's you. I thought it was you. How did I get so mixed up? Mm -hmm. Okay, ghost. All right, where am I and what am I trying to do? Let's do some shoosting. <laughs> I don't like the sounds of that shoosting. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do some more shoosting. <laughs> Let's do some walking. Oh, that was supposed to be face down. Oopsie daisies. Oops. Okay. You know, I just realized that the shooting is actually kind of useless because this is the last round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Anyway, We're all like, oh, there's a guy! 
<laughs> Vengeance is ours! <laughs> yeah. You should be grabbing loot, fools! <laughs> Well, you can't if you don't have a loot grabber in your hand. It's true. What I should have done is first card, not played it, grab more cards so I can get some loot. That's well, we'll dumb. see. So first thing Ghost does is grab some loot. Yahoo! Do you want that gem? I love gems. There you go. And then Django shoots Tuco, and Tuco goes right there. Oh, dear. And then Tuco shoots Belle because Belle is the only target. That's just sad. And where does she go? Nowhere, because there's no other trains. Well, no, she doesn't move from a shot. That's uh, D Django's special power. Oh, right. Yep. Oh, so confusing. And then Belle shoots Tuco right back. <laughs> and we don't have to worry about the, the, the bullet cards, because it doesn't do anything. But in, a t in this variant, maybe bullet cards should take away from your total. Anyway. I think that's a tiebreaker. Oh. Yeah. So... Doesn't matter. And um, now he moves. Yep. Hey, Belle. What's hey. going on? Whoops. I didn't mean to push you over. <laughs> that was just mean. That was rude. Just trying to get them both on camera. Django is going to go up. I can't get them both on camera. Oh, I didn't even realize that was cut off. Yeah, it's tricky. That's a bummer. All right. Uh, Django went up to the roof. And then Ghost punches Belle. Oh, that's Boom. just rude. Right in the kisser. Hi, Tuco. How's it going? Better if I didn't just lose all my money. <clears throat> and then he runs right there. And I think that is everything. And that's it. So now we get to count up our loot. Um, and there's nobody to share. There's no revenge. Yeah, that's it. Count up our loop. Well, Tuco is in last place with zero. And you just, I think you just count it up as a team. Oh, you count everyone's money together? Yep. See you didn't contribute anything, Tuco. Here's a bell. You might have won because I know you got a lot of gems. I got two gems. Nice. So I've got 1,650 bucks. I have 1550 bucks. Ha <laughs> ha! One by $100. Woo! Because you had a 400 and I had a 300 change purse. Yep. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. Nice. So that is the official two-player variant of Colt Express. That it is. Nice. With the base game. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Laters! We're gonna swap cameras around. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay. Put that as a blooper. Yeah.